Welcome back to Varnberg Implement and today we're here with the 5S 145 and we've got the FL4121 loader installed on it now. This is a mechanical self-leveling loader which you can see the low profile self-leveling right here uh, sits out it's kind of a U that sits over the top of the frame here so it doesn't obstruct your vision very much. Um, it's a super nice system that Massey Ferguson's doing on their tractor to keep the visibility. If you look at the front here, you don't lose much visibility with the loader frame. That steep slope bonnet makes it an awesome combination for the ultimate in loader tractor work, the 5S series. The FL4121 will reach 159.9 inches or roughly 4,060 millimeters. And if you look at that, 4,060 is going to be really close to that 41. That's actually 4.1 meters is the first two numbers. Lifting capacity is 4,630 pounds at 3,100 31 and a half inches forward roughly the front edge of the bucket here so that is roughly 2100 kilograms 41 21 41 is your meters of height 21 is your um, 2100 kilograms so that's how the loader designations are on the Massey Ferguson loaders uh, this features Euro quick attach Euro Quick Attach is one of the simplest, fastest, easiest systems. You can pull that yellow handle right there, or if you go on the other side, there's a side handle right down there that you can pull out to change buckets. And we're gonna change buckets. This one features live third function by the couplers you can see there. It is plumbed into the Q compact valve that is located right underneath that cover there. This features soft drive. The soft drive accumulators are in the, the tube of the bucket, or the tube of the loader. Uh, it is a standard equipment feature on the Massey Ferguson. New for the, F, the S series tractors is standard equipment now with a quick connect. Uh, this actually connects all four hoses and the live third function and the electric component in a single deal. You pull this pin right here, you flip the lever, connects everything, makes it simple and easy to take the loader on and off. In greasable pins, you got these caps. Galvanized pins that uh, are got bushings in there so you can rebuild this loader. Uh, and take the slop out of it after years and years of use. This is featured with the 210H bucket, which is the heavy duty general material bucket. Um, it's a large volume bucket. You can see the reinforced plate in the back. The heavier cutting edge. This is a premium bucket compared to um, the Global Series with the non-FL loaders has more of the standard bucket. A lot, lot larger volume, a lot more capacity, a lot more heavy duty. Higher carbon steel on the cutting edge to last longer if you're scraping concrete. Our ground level force, we're raising the bucket off of ground level. At the pivot pin, pivot pin, remember, is right here. This is, nope, this is actually our pivot pin because our loader end of our loader arm there's a cast knuckle that's our pivot pin at that point is 5420 pounds at the front edge of the bucket 31 and a half inches forward out there on the front edge of the bucket is 5050 pounds on basically forced to raise the loader off the ground now we've raised the loader up to roughly the 59 inch mark a five foot off the ground this is a new measurement that a, that's easily comparable between different models and different brands. At this point, at the pivot pin, 
we are lifting 4,610 pounds at the pivot pin. And then the 31 and a half inch mark, which is our front edge of our bucket, we're lifting 4,630 pounds. So at 59 inches off the ground, you're lifting over 4,600 pounds. The last measurement we're gonna talk about is at maximum lift height. We've got this loader raised to the maximum lift height, which is 159.9 inches off the ground or 4,600, 4,060 millimeter. If you can look right up there, right at the end, the lifting capacity at the pivot pin is 3,790 pounds and the 31.5 inch measurement by the operator's manual is 4,370 pounds out there on the front edge. That is the, the readings out of the operator's manual. Um, I know the 31 and a half inches is higher than the pivot pin readings, but that's what the manual tells us by their testing that they found out. We're gonna jump inside this 5S, show you some of the cool features of it, show you how easy it is to change implements uh, with this steep slope bonnet or hood. It sure makes loader work amazing with that steep slope hood. This 5S tractor, if you're wanting the ultimate in loader tractor, you need to check out this 5S. And we're gonna jump in this cab. It has a superior visibility and the Vizio roof that makes it loader work amazing. Look at the visibility of the Vizio roof and how easy it adds that dimension to see the loader at the maximum lift capacity. And we're going to take this loader and we're going to just push the down button and the loader is coming down and look at the visibility down that hood so much easier to see you can see the edges there down the sides pull the bucket up this has the multi-function loader joystick that you can increase decrease speed you got your third function you got forward and reverse, and you have F3 and H4. H4 is an extra loader feature. F3 could be a tractor feature. If you watch our 5S video, we've got our multi-pad. This is going to control the two rear electronic rear remotes. This is going to be your forward and reverse F1, F2 auto steer. If this had auto steer, this tractor doesn't. Um, speed controls, your constant velocity, your three-point raise and lower. We did a 5S video that we went really in depth into driving and operation of it. Um, over here, you've got soft drive. You can fill the soft drive accumulator there. Soft drive, what it does is if you watch this, the loader absorbs the shock load. You can see those cylinders. So that is what soft drive is. You can have implement lock. This is your lock to turn the loader on and off. But look at the visibility here. Can you get that in any other tractor? Don't think so. Take it on up, come up into our Vizio roof area. Now this may be flashing, but that's the video of the camera and the screen refresh rate of the screen. Um, there's our loader. We've got loader connected to the engine RPM and you can hear that. You can see the RPMs went up over here when we pull the loader. That increases our speed. Um, got bucket shake we we'll just pull up here you can see by tapping the H4 button we're shaking the bucket without moving the lever just hitting the H4 button bucket shake 
is available on the tractor. Now we want to go back to hydraulics and we're going to come down, we're going to come up actually, we're going to hit OK and we're going to look. We had this turned down way down to 50 percent. So we're going to hit OK, take her down, hit OK. We're going to raise her up to 100 percent. We're going to show you full whoop, Going to hit OK there, and we're going to take her on up to 100%. That is our raise and lower. Then we're going to take it up and hit OK. And we're going to hit the bucket. And we'll take it to 100%. We'll go over here, and we'll take it to 100%. Now we got maximum flow on this tractor. Um, and we're going to see what speeds it does. Watch that speed. And I didn't want to go 100% all the way up. So I let it go there. But you watch how fast. Now you can see that bucket cylinder. You can do two functions at once by curling the joystick. Oh, and we kind of, for, kind of forgot this cools your drink up here. You have a can cooler in the 5S right there. Um, if you watch the 5S video, that was a camera cooler because we heated up the camera way too much. But uh, you can really just feather the joystick and make it nice and smooth. Or you can bring her down, do two functions at once. One function. It's so simple and easy. If you don't like that engine thing, you can turn it off. I like it because it increases our speed of our loader because the engine revs up and increases the hydraulic pump. But look at the visibility out that thing. I mean, you got great visibility. We're going to take her for a little spin here and just drive. Let you look going down this row of Massey Ferguson tractors here. You can lower it down a little bit. And you got excellent visibility. Look at the rollback of that bucket. The 5S has got excellent visibility uh, when you're when you're carrying the loads, bales of hay. You don't block a lot of your vision. You really need to look at those knuckles and when you're looking at tractors, man. We're carrying this thing about oh two foot off the ground and we're not blocking our vision that bad out the sides. So moving hay down the field, down the road, feeding cattle. It's so nice. And remember, we can control our joystick by pushing on the back here, right up here, that neutral trigger. Push that, 
And you heard the beat. Now we're going to go forward when we let out on the clutch. When we push the both of those, we're going to go backwards. So you've got 100% total control of your tractor right here in your loader joystick. Now, how many other tractors have you ever seen that? You can increase, there's decrease in ground speed. Here's increased power shift with the plus button. Now we're up to 2C. You've got control of your loader operations, your tractor operation, all from your loader joystick. Now you can focus on steering with your other hand. Um, you got brake to neutral, brake to neutral here even. Now we stop the tractor by just pushing the brake pedal in. When we let go, the tractor takes off again. So, man, those are some features that, man, it's going to make a long day, a short day out there on the field. Uh, gathering hay, doing dirt work, whatever you do with the loader, this 5S is an amazing tractor to make your life easier with built-in armrest control, multi-pad control, so simple at a finger touch it's flying it's flying your loader by wire basically i mean you got you got control there try to up and down look how little it takes effortless you're not pulling on a heavy cable you're not going arms not going to be worn out at the end of the day by operating this joystick I mean, you could do it by a pinky. Auto drive, push this button here. We're going to take our shifts down. Now we're going to be able to shift based on our engine RPM. There's B, there's C, there's D, there's E. We're doing it all by our foot. There's two. We let off the RPMs. and it'll downshift automatically for you. And some of the cool features of the Massey Ferguson 5S series. Watch our 5S 145 video for more. We're gonna jump out of the cab. We're gonna show you how simple and easy it is to take an implement off and connect it. The advantages of Euro Quick Attach. All you have to do is come out here Pull that lever and it locks. Same thing as pulling this handle back, but you don't have to reach over your cylinder. We're going to drop the bucket off, and then we'll show you how simple and easy it is to reconnect Euro Quick Attach and only have to get out of the tractor one time. This is the only time we're going to have to leave this tractor to unhook and rehook the implement. Okay, to unhook the implement, we're going to lower it down. We've dropped out of the implement if you watch down there. We're going to put it in reverse. Have to put the torque brake off first. And we're going to back up. The loader is now raised up. And we're just going to make this easy. We're not going to make this easy. Because most people say that was a crazy thing to do because it's not easy to hook an implement. So what the first thing we want to do to hook up an implement is take your joystick and turn your tool carrier all the way down. You see them holes? Okay, our bucket's way over there. We're going to drive our bucket. see our bucket up there you can see a great visibility from it now you see those those two T 
two, the, the top rail and that rectangular box there. What we want to do is we want to bring them down so as we approach the implement, we'll just slide this right down here. You're going to see, oh, we see that orange hook. That's why those orange hooks are orange. We'll bring that down. We're going to put that orange hook right in that box. Can you look at it? Drop it down a little bit more. Our hook's in that box. Our hook's in this box. We're going to raise it up. See it in both sides. Now all we've got to do is turn our tool carrier and it latched. You see that yellow handle flip down. Checking it to make sure that it's on. Just tap it on the ground. Make sure it's latched. And all you've had to do is get out of the tractor once. And your implement is locked on. That is so fast, so simple, so easy. That's the advantage of a Euro Quick Attach. Is single leaving the tractor. And we can even make it easier if you want to. We can buy a little cylinder and you don't have to ever leave the tractor to connect your up to change implements. You can go from a loader to a from your bucket to to pallet forks to bale spears without ever leaving the tractor with a uh, quick connect which implement lock which is done right here if we had it on this tractor. Um, it's got live third function. We don't have a grapple here in Euro right now to show you that. But this is so simple, so easy. It's a Massey Ferguson. It is designed to make your life easier. And that's what it's all about. Is making your life easier for loader operation. Just pull it back. All the way up. Look at that. Look at that visibility. Unmatched visibility and loader performance and loader operation. That's what the 5S brings to you. If your job is a professional loader operator, like a hay farmer, you need to get one of these 5S with the FL4121 loader. Look at how high that sucker is. And that steep slope to it, the best in class visibility of anybody in the tractor industry with this steep sloped hood that gives you better visibility out here in front to see your implements to do see your work so that you can be more efficient at your job a best in class comfort best in class features that's the s series tractors this one's teamed up with trailbird radials it's the new 5s Check out our 5S 145 video. And if you're in West Central Missouri, come visit us at Varnberg Implement. We're your West Central Missouri Massey Ferguson dealer. Right here in Higginsville, Missouri. Right here on Business 13, which is Fairground Avenue and Missouri 13 Highway. Just four miles north of Interstate 70, right down here to the south. Uh, come on up until you see our big Massey Ferguson sign pull in the lot you'll see all the red tractors and we're just 49 miles from the Kansas line we're just 15 miles from the Missouri River to the north so you can come in from the north to south the east or west east you can take follow this road on around and it'll catch 20 highway that goes over to Marshall Alma that area or 13 highway takes you south to interstate 70 very easy i hope that helped you learn more about the 5s and the fl4121 loader matched up together paired up together on this 5s series tractor to provide the ultimate loader tractor experience come visit us at varnberg implement your west central missouri massey ferguson dealer and let us show you the 5s difference 
check out our video on the ultimate loader challenge on a previous generation of this same tractor with the steep slope hood 30 years of steep slope hood high vis hood available on a massey ferguson come see it today at varnberg implement and get to make your life easier with the 5s series tractor from massey ferguson